Flies used a lot uh, in different colour combinations. It's a, uh, a style that suits uh, competition anglers. And this one here, as you can see, is like, it'll put a lot of people in mind of a, a Peter Ross without a wing. Uh, though, this one's got Peril and so on, the Badger Hackle and whatever. But it's a nice style. Uh, I've used a fronds, a micro fronds for the, the thorax instead of your dubbing. Normally it'd be a, a red seals for dubbing. And you can see a jungle cock eye. Uh, more as, they're tied in as wing buds more like, but uh, they are an eye more than anything. So, but anyway, it's a nice pattern. I'm sure you'll like, like the tying. So, and it's certainly worth tying when there's a lot of pin fry around. The hook I'm using, this is a full of mill. You can see, uh, obviously, the competition heavyweight in black, size 10. 10s and 12s are the two main sizes I've been tying. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread 80 and red. I'm just going to start the thread at the eye, not really down to the point of the hook. Just there, and then remove the waist piece. Now, the cape I'm using, this is just a, use a Chinese or an Indian hen neck and badger. So badger neck. Just use one of the larger feathers for the tail. Just bring out a few fibres, 90 degrees from the stem. Tear it off. Now, you're looking a little bit the length of the, the shank of the hook. Just tie that on. Now, a couple of turns, but this these, those two turns are actually heading down and on the bare hook. Because this helps the, sort of the taper of the fly. Now, let me trim this. Just this point here. Now for the rib, I'm using a number 27. This is a Vineyard Silver Wire. So again, a single turn, just to hold at this point and the length of the body again. Uh, and again, that's going to be on the, the bare hook heading down. For the body, I'm using a Mirage, Opal Mirage tinsel. The kind of pearly one, there's not much left on that. But this is, you can use a medium or a large, I'm just using the large. Again, we catch this on, full length of the body, so there's a nice balance in it. And then, just work your way up, tidying the area. So you've got a nice body, a nice base for winding the Opal Mirage over to this point. Come round, and then work your way up. Slightly overlapping your last turn as you go, because you build up a slight taper if you do that. That's why I like the large, you see. Cross your thread, two or three turns in. Then we can bring the rib up through. Straight turn I like at the back, that protects the back of the opal mirage. And then we work up 45 turns. Nice and tight, follow up with the thread. There's a 90 degree bend into the wire. That locks in the turns, keeps everything nice and tight. Tidy the thorax area up. Bend and break away the wire. So we'll wax on the thread at this point. And work our way back down, ready to tie in. This is a... Uh, it's basically, it's called Bibio Red. Uh, it's micro fronds, this colour. Nice colour, and as you can see, the, the peril in this fronds is very mirage-like. It's ideal. Now we'll get some here. Just tie, tie it up to the end. Tie it on. Basically you wind the fronds on like a, it's a, like a small hackle, if you want to call it. What I like to do is to take the twists out of it. You can see then all the fibres are going towards the back. Encourage this by just stroking it and bringing them straight out. And then you do a turn. Pulling it back, as I say, as you would do a hackle, wind it up to this point here, nice and tight. Two or three turns in. Now, I like to use, I don't, most times I don't like to use my scissors when cutting fritz, so I'm using this Stanley blade. Just cut it off. And there we are. It makes for a nice thorax, plenty of light, a lot of wee bit of movement in that as well. Now, what I've got here is 
this basically is going to be like wing buds, but there are the eyes. This is a jungle cock guy that's been split in half. And I'm going to sort of, from the top, fold it down either side of the thorax, come around with two or three turns, just loose turns really, and position these eyes to sit where you want. To get them to sit, that's perfect, that's where you like them. Two or three turns on, fold it back, trim away the waist, see there how it's sitting, that's fine. Now back to our head and neck, we want a small badge on hen hackle. Now the fibre length, some like them short, so it helps towards the taper. Uh, it's light and long, it doesn't, it's up to yourself. The main thing is, is not to put on too much of a hackle. Uh, maybe two turns or so, because then if you put, wind on too much you'll lose the cover up the eyes of the jungle cock, so hold it there. I use the hackle plaster, to hold the tip and bring it back. Now, tie it in by the tip, folding back the tip of the hackle, two or three turns, pull off, then get your hackle pliers, and wind, as I say, two turns, so there's one, to the second turn. Just drawing back any fibres that want to go forward, just take your time. These are small hackles, so cross your thread, a couple of turns, take away your hackle pliers. Just another turn there and then fold it back and form a nice head. Don't be shy with the head because the head is part of the fly, so you can break that off by keeping the thread tight. And then we can go straight in and quite finish. See how it's sitting. Looks okay. It's fine. It's got a nice shape. When that's wet, you get a lovely teardrop shape, and especially when you obviously you've got to pull it, and you'll get that nice shape and pulsating uh, from the hackle. Um, the taper of the fly will give the pin fry look, as they say. Now, what we do here is just a couple of coats of varnish or what I like. As to for speed, this is a wee touch of super glue, but you have to be careful with the super glue. Just touch this, the head, don't go into the material. That will set really quick. Then you can finish off with a coat of varnish. You must finish off with a coat of varnish. And there you are. And that's basically the it's a cruncher pattern, it's a cruncher style, colour combination. Uh, suit the small fry, so I hope you enjoyed that.